And if it keeps up this, if it keeps up this, and if it keeps up, and if it keeps up this pace, and if it keeps up this pace, right? And if it keeps up this pace. <laughs> Last week, the biggest story in sneakers, in fact, the only story in sneakers, was the release of the brand Jordan 4s. The brands absolutely shattered sales records last week, becoming the biggest selling sneaker in StockX history. With over 8,000 sales in its first three days on the market, it beat out the Concords, the Clays, Butters, and Turbo Greens. If it keeps up this pace, it may be the biggest sneaker drop of all time. But what's behind the record-breaking success of these fours? Well, it's gotta be the history. Back in 1989, back before half of you were even born, the original GOAT, Michael Jordan, was wearing the Jordan 4 breads when he sank the shot in game five against the Cavs and began cementing his legacy as the most iconic athlete of all time. The man who tried and ultimately failed to block that legendary shot was none other than Cav defensive specialist Craig Elo. Elo's loss was history's gain, and in a way, he's just as responsible for the Jordan 4 legacy. The King George to Jordan's George Washington, the Foreman to his Ali, the Buffalo Bills to the entire NFL. Well, that's Craig Elo. Here to talk about the role Elo played in the story of these shoes, it's none other than Craig Elo's firstborn son, Austin Elo. Live from our StockX offices in Arizona, please pass me the laptop so I can talk to my man. Austin, what is up? What is up? What's up? <laughs> How you feel? I'm great, man. How are you? Good, good. You're really Craig Elo's son, right? Yep, Austin Craig Elo. <laughs> I, wear, I wear the names. You wear a proud. And you are a sneaker authenticator at StockX in Tempe, Arizona. Is that right? Correct. What is your first memory or your first knowledge about what is now referred to as the shot? Nowadays, kids say Kobe when they when they drain a piece of garbage or whatnot in, in the trash can. They, yeah. At my house, it's oh the shot on Elo. Ah! <laughs> Are you a fan of the shoe? Do you like breads? Do you like Jordan fours? Do you like Jordans at all? So yeah, so the Jordan four is probably actually my favorite shoe. Um, I mean, obviously on the on the day of the shot. You got him. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and then obviously uh, you got you got to represent. The, the the cow four talk that made talk. just for just for my pop so yeah uh, yeah no the fours are something that it, it holds near and dear to me yeah now does your father like fours um well he he definitely <laughs> knew that this one was coming out let's bring in Craig Elo man let's bring in your father and talk to him all right so we are live in the studio right now and we got the legendary defenseman himself how are you doing great Kevin and yourself I'm fantastic look we want to talk about something that everyone's talking about right now, and it's, a, it's an event that happened 30 years ago. It's called The Shot. Oh, it, it's crazy. It doesn't seem like it was 30 years ago. It seems so fresh in my mind. And uh, to tell you the truth, I didn't like it at first, like how everybody was always saying how great of a shot it was and that, you know, because we were on the losing end of it. So it didn't take, it had a, left a bad taste in my mouth. Mm -hmm. But now 30 years later, I can, I can definitely celebrate and, and tell you that I'm happy to be part of that. Yeah. So one of the things that Austin mentioned when we talked to him was his love and his infatuation with that very same shoe that Jordan wore during the shot. Uh, have you, I'm sure you've seen it, you've got the best view of it, but what do you, do you like that shoe? Uh, you know I do, and uh, tell you the truth, yeah, I got a close-up view of that Nike uh, <laughs> Well, look, well, Craig, thank you so much uh, for joining us on StockX Market Watch. While everyone in the world was busy fit checking the Met Gala, shout out to Serena and them off whites and that Audemars. Sheesh. Resellers were shaking up the market for those Travis Scott Jordan 1s. Now, 10 days ago, these Jordan 1s were flipping for more than $1,500. But over the past 10 days, Prices have fallen more than 40%, and they're now selling for 850. So now might be the perfect time for an early cop. To the streets! If the Celtics have taught us anything this playoffs, it's that everyone... Uh, what's going on? Coffee cup on set. How long has that been there? Been there for a while. I mean, no one caught it. No one caught it. If the Celtics have taught us anything this playoffs, 
is that everyone has off weeks every now and again. And last week, Supreme Drop was a case in point. The week 10 capsule was unremarkable in every way, and you can see it in the sales numbers. After two and a half months of consistent hits, week 10 sales were down over 50% from the spring summer average. More like Supreme. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Am I right? Yeah. But while Supreme has been on injury reserve, Palace is having a magic May with the release of the Rain Man tee. This has become something of a template for Palace, superimposing their iconic logos and tees onto equally iconic movie scenes. But what scenes are next? Kevin McAllister in a polo bear sweatshirt? Travolta in a trifurn. How about the little dude from Up with the P hat on? <laughs> All bangers. To the week ahead! Eminem, sweet like candy cane. Drop the top, pop it, let it bang. After copying the much anticipated Travis Scott Jordan ones this weekend on May 11th. But before hitting the Astro World roller coaster, we gotta chop and screw some things up and maybe do some stargazing on Mars because Nike is dropping the Jordan One twist for the ladies alongside the Tom Sachs Mars Yard overshoe. And if you can't get through the atmosphere. LeBron still putting up dubs despite not making it to the postseason with these LeBron 16 Harlem fashion rows, but the heat doesn't stop there. Because next week, the highly anticipated Air Vapor Max Cactus Plant Flea Markets drop in women's sizes only on May 14th. It's a lot of words and a lot of drops, so rest up, maybe invest in some Red Bull, start getting your reflexes ready to click ASAP. As for streetwear, Supreme just released some major fire that included a new Zippo, a parka, and some Vans. Palace is also set to release a collection on Friday that's holding some major heat too. So get your Valyrian steel swords out and get ready for a streetwear battle for the ages. Last but certainly not least, shout out to this week's Market Watch comment of the week winner, Nikhil Sierros. Now you said my voice crack was as bad as your attempt to get the Swarovski BOGOs. But the joke's on you because you actually thought you were going to cop. <laughs> now take this L, take this StockX credit, and have a good day. <laughs> That's all for this week. Now look, we got StockX Day next week, so we're taking a little bit of a break. We'll catch you in a couple of weeks. Now for more StockX Market Insights, like and subscribe to us here. Follow StockX on Instagram and Twitter. And if you plan to cop any of this heat that we speak this weekend, let us know what in the comments below. We'll be sure to show you some love. Join me, Greg. That's right.